Good. What I'd like to do is show you guys how to evaluate a piecewise function uh, for f of negative 1 and f of 0. The important thing to realize when you have a piecewise function is you have actually have two in, um, functions inside the piecewise function and you have constraints with them. So when you're usually just evaluating a regular number in for a function, we take what value we want to evaluate the function for and we plug it into our function. However, when you're dealing with the piecewise functions, we have two different functions actually within our piecewise. So what we have to do is we have to acknowledge what the constraints are. So the first thing I look at is I say, all right, I want to evaluate my piecewise function for f of negative 1. Well, what we need to do is I, I need to look at this and say, well, which function do I evaluate for when it's negative 1? So it says when x is less than, neg x is less than 0. So since I'm really plugging in my negative 1 into that x value, evaluating for the x, and since negative 1 is less than 0, I am going to use this function. So therefore, I'm just going to represent f negative 1 equals 2 times negative 1 plus 1. 2 times negative 1 is a negative 2 plus 1. So therefore, f of negative 1 is going to equal a negative 1. Then the next thing is, let's say I want to evaluate my piecewise function when uh, my function went for the value of 0. So again, I need to look at my two functions, the two constraints, and say, which function do I use when uh, my, I'm going to use 0? And well, obviously, this means all the x values evaluate only when my x values are less than 0. And this says you can use this equation when all your x values are equal to 0 or greater. So therefore, I'm going to use this function. So I say f of x equals 2 times 0 plus 2. And remember, we're evaluating this is the piecewise function when, or what, when it's evaluated for x. So when I'm going to evaluate for 0, I just plug in the 0 into the x. So therefore, I have f of 0. So therefore, f of 0 is going to equal 2 times 0, which is 0, plus 2, which becomes 2. So that is how you evaluate a piecewise function for two different values.